Hi guys, it's Tuesday the 31st of August today, so we've just come out of the bank holiday but it definitely feels like a Monday today and today I thought I'd film for you a pregnancy what I eat in the day, like a pregnancy food diary, so I don't really know. I did one of these on my Instagram recently and like I pride myself in being quite honest about what I have and what real mum life is like and I think this is no different in that like I do treat myself and I don't necessarily eat the healthiest diet in the world but at least I can potentially bring some com comfort to someone out there and say actually it's okay to eat chocolate while you're pregnant because it totally is and today I'm gonna let you know throughout the day what I eat. <laughs> So to give some context as well, I am um, vegan. I have been for five years. I don't love the term vegan anymore. I think it brings with it quite a lot of negative connotations, but I guess you could say that my diet is plant-based. And so, I mean, I think if I hadn't told you that, you probably wouldn't have noticed, but I didn't want you to think if when I have like plant milk or whatever that it's an allergy or whatever because it isn't it's just a dietary preference so it's about eight o'clock now I've just got back from dropping Grace at my mum's because my mum has her for me on a Tuesday and at my mum's I had a hot chocolate with oat milk in it I probably would have had a decaf coffee but shouldn't have decaf and now I'm back I'm going to start working through my water so I have just a big bottle of water that I work through during the day and I'll try to get through two of these. I'm not actually that hungry at the moment and I probably won't eat until sort of mid-morning. Don't get that hungry first thing in the day. I like to kind of settle into the day first and then have like a later breakfast and a later lunch. But I will pop back on when I next eat or when I first eat today and let you know what I'm having. Hi guys, it's about 10.30 now and I am actually feeling really quite hungry. It's probably a little bit later than I would usually wait to have my breakfast. Um, but because I'm back to work today um, from having the bank holiday yesterday and I'm also off next week, I've just got like loads of bits to sort out. So I've been quite busy this morning with work. So I've only just had a chance to come down and make myself some breakfast. So I really fancy a bit of beans on toast today. So that's what I'm gonna make. Simple, classic, isn't it? It's a classic combo. It works well, I just have the one slice of toast and half a tin of beans, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I just use Hovid, Hovid? To use the same Covid, Hovis Seed Sensations is my bread of choice and I also butter my bread, I just use Vitalite Dairy Free from Tesco and then controversially I used to be completely Heinz bean obsessed. I wouldn't eat any other beans other than Heinz, but someone said to me that the Audi beans were a lot nicer. So I bought them and I actually agree, I do prefer them when you microwave them. So when I'm like making a quick breakfast and I want to microwave beans, I now use the Audi beans. Um, but for hob cooking, I still prefer the Heinz ones. But these ones are good for a quick fix in the morning and I'll just use like half a tin of these and that'd be plenty for me. of transparency I've just had a bite of that sausage roll that Steve's eaten at 12 o'clock would you eat it not really it's no. Marks and Spencer's no pork sausage and um, it's a bit no flavour <laughs> I actually thought it was all right so it's lunchtime now I've just got the kettle boiling in the background because I'm going to have just a bit of pasta and I've got like a sauce that Steve's used a bit of so I'm going to use the rest of that I think it's just like a tomato and basil sauce from Waitrose that's what I'm going to have for my lunch but while I've got a bit of a break from work I'm also going to start the dinner prep so tonight we're going to have stuffed peppers and because obviously when Grace comes home I'll be like getting her ready for bed and doing her dinner and stuff it just means that if everything's prepped 
then I won't have to worry about our dinner. We can just put her to bed and then our dinner will be pretty much done if I just whack it in the oven. So that just makes things so much easier for me. So I'm gonna make the most of the time that I've got and do that now while I get my pasta sorted for lunch. done now while I've been cooking that I've also cooked the rice that I need for the stuffed peppers later I've prepared the stuffed peppers so they'll go in to bake on their own for like 12 to 15 minutes before I put the filling in I've put the chopped onions in here to start off the filling and then everything else I need for the filling as well as the rice is here ready to go and then I've just prepped the broccoli as well and put some um, like spray oil and salt on top of there that'll be ready to cook but now I can drain my pasta turn the rice off and have my lunch and it means that everything is also ready for tonight when we're ready to have dinner also now finished my first water so this is ready to fill up again for the afternoon you might have noticed from my beans this morning and also from this lunch that I absolutely love black pepper so I've put a good bit of black pepper on there and a little grind of some sea salt on there as well. Grace is home now, it's about four o'clock and I'm starting to get a little bit peckish and probably when I like make her dinner as well and I see that she's eating it makes me feel a little bit hungry. I have actually started our dinner now but I'm just having a little snack which I don't know if this is a normal snack, but it's something that I eat quite a lot anyway. And it's just apple, like Pink Lady Apple and peanut butter. And it's so good, honestly, if you haven't tried it, it's really yummy. It doesn't look like much, but trust me. So this is the filling for the stuffed peppers. What I've done is fried off some onions. I'm gonna add to this a little bit of vegetable stock, some tomato puree, some mixed herbs, butter beans, the cooked rice from earlier. And then this is my special ingredient. It's just Nando's Peri Peri sauce you can use. I've used medium before, but it does have quite a kick. So I'm just gonna use lemon and herb today. And that's what I'm gonna use to stuff the peppers. Then finally, just make some breadcrumbs to go on the top. I've torn up a slice of bread, drizzled in some olive oil, and then cracked in some black pepper and salt. And I'm just gonna whiz this up in this little Kenwood blender so they are all assembled and ready to go now they don't look like a lot in the pan but they're so good when they come out of the oven and I had a little bit left over as well of the rice so I can give that to Grace for her lunch tomorrow and I'm going to serve it with some roasted broccoli so the peppers need to go in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes and then the broccoli will only need about 15. So everything's all prepped now, ready for once Grace has gone to bed, we can whack it in the oven and then we'll sit down and have our dinner at about half six, seven-ish. Okay, so it's quite late now, it's like half nine. After we had dinner, we just like sat and watched a bit of TV and stuff but I've got a real hankering for something sweet. And if I had chocolate in the house now, I'd have a good bit of chocolate, but I can't find any. So I have found just now in the fridge, this innocent hazelnut dairy free drink. And it tastes, it tastes a bit like Nutella on its own, but I'm actually gonna put a bit of chocolate Nesquik with it and have like a cold milkshake before I do my teeth and get settled in for bed and stuff. But this will be the last thing that I have today now, just as a little sweet treat. Like I say, if I had a bit of chocolate, I'd actually have that. But I will finish the vlog there, I guess. If you like this video, then please comment below and let me know. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, please do consider subscribing. I put out lots of different pregnancy content and mummy content, and I'd love to have you as a viewer. And I will see you in my next video.